As soon as you enter the Namgongo area, one is met by several makeshift tents set to attend to pilgrims arriving from around the world to pay homage to the Uganda matters. Next to these tents are vehicles that can be used as treatment centers as well as ambulances intended to rush those who are much worse off to more established health facilities. Outside these tents and vehicles, several pilgrims had lined up to obtain free treatment. <laughs> Some of these are receiving care for ailments such as HIV, hypertension, diabetes, as well as cough. However, according to Dr. Patrick Sesanga, a good number of the pilgrims arriving for health checks are suffering from malaria, ulcers, and in some cases, tuberculosis. Yes, we are seeing that uh, the increasing numbers from the time we've been uh, camp camping here. Um, when we look at the statistics for far, uh, malaria, the number is also big. Uh, ulcers, those are peptic ulcer disease, they're also common, and also uh, UTIs. The pilgrims are suffering from low blood sugar levels because they are having to walk distances and by the time they arrive in Namgongo, their sugar levels have dropped down. Now we are also receiving a number of malaria cases because the pilgrims are having to walk during the night while in Namgongo the pilgrims are sleeping outside. Uh, pilgrims come here hungry, pilgrims arrive here hungry. So pilgrims are also suffering. Some have begun to develop ulcers. Some of the pilgrims have also been found to be suffering from the red eyes disease, which health workers are looking to resolve. They are also oriented on how they can be able to clean these people. We ask them, we give them medication and also teach them on how they can be able to protect themselves, also protect others so that they can also, they don't uh, get this uh, condition. For now, most of the pilgrims are hoping to complete their pilgrimage in perfect health before returning to their homes. But they told me 